I just wondered whether the two of you may want to talk about um, the importance of describing from the inside that feeling of other that has maybe manifested yourself in this work. Maybe if we start with you, Joanne, and move on to you, Jen, and, and see where it takes us. I think it's terribly important because words are part of what, what make the world. And you have to make a place for your world by altering those words. And if you don't, then you have that feeling that we've both described of being outside human, of um, not being a subject or a person that people listen to, just being a thing of outside culture and outside language and outside society. And I've, I try with um, the work I've done since, since my diagnosis, my own poetry and this as well, to try and make a world out of words that's, uh, well, it's part of a bigger job that we're all doing, that I'm doing, that Jen's doing, that lots of, lots of writers and autistic creators are doing, of um, creating this um, cultural habitat where we can find ourselves and recognize ourselves and contact each other, but also translate our experience somehow so that it becomes intelligible to other people. Yeah, so I'll maybe chip in here if that's all right. Um, mm -hmm. So this is a this is a complicated territory for me. I wouldn't be expected to be straightforward for anyone, but um, no. I I don't have an autism diagnosis. Um, we we have diagnoses within the family, um, and I think very recognisable traits that I can see in myself. Um, and and I've I've kind of avoided I think seeking a diagnosis. I did in the past, and um, and I saw. Um, a psychologist who said that I couldn't possibly be autistic or Aspie or anything like that because I could make eye contact mm -hmm. um, and that was me kind of um, sent back out into the world a bit confused and quite depressed. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know that I want to go through that process anyway because um, wherever I've researched and read I've met a lot of material that I think like you were hinting at, Joanne, doesn't seem to fit my sense mm. of self and my reality mm. and also feels quite um, negative and, and disparaging and made me feel very strange about myself. So I thought, well, mm. given that I've got a strong sense this is what's going on, I think I might need to define that for myself, um, mm. which is part of my gesture in, in this book, The Stone Age, part of it. Um, and I think the, the thing that really struck me about the process of writing it and sharing some of the poems in progress in workshops and at public events was the number of people that were coming up to me, women especially, afterwards and saying, but this is my reality too, you've described mm. a lot of, of what I think I am or who I think I am. Um, but, there's, but, but we've never had words for it before. And I mean, it, it was just silly numbers of people. And I thought, well, my God, this is a massive population. Um, we are part of a massive population of wonderful, diverse people. And mm. what we seem to have in common, most of all, is that we're quite down on ourselves. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that self-definition is, is really important. And I think for me, um, I struggled to find a word that didn't feel like it had negative connotations for what I was experiencing in my life. And I quite liked neurodiverse. Um, I know a lot of people have neurodiverse at, the, at one end of a spectrum and neurotypical at another. And I have slight issues with that. I think so I, do I, yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, I think I want to say that the world is... Um, the you know the human population is neurodiverse yeah I think there's two words there's sorry to jump in there's neurodiverse <laughs> which we all are and neurodivergent mm. which some of us are quite a lot more people as Jen said than you might think mm. but the majority aren't mm. I think mm -hmm. yeah and I know a lot of people need to make that distinction as well um, yes but I think there's actually no such thing as some perfect point of normal that anyone inhabits Mm. And that's a good thing. Why should there be? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Agreed. 